Hello there. I'm Michael Knight, project leader on Cracking Open a Cold One and also the writer of tonight's play. Now, Cracking Open a Cold One is a series devoted to get writers and performers working but not wasting their time. Each week, we're gonna take suggestions from social media and give them to our writers. Overnight, they have to create a new piece of original work based on those suggestions, and the next day, our performers perform the piece cold, only having read the show once. Now, this is a bi-weekly event, so if you'd like to be involved, head to newgentheatrical.org. Tonight's piece stars Michael Carr, Megan Borkus, and Max Casanova, yes. That's his real name. And as we try to crack open a cold one while we crack open a cold one, each of our performers is a bit buzzed, just the way we like it. This is filled with pure alcohol. You're welcome. Also, uh, mature content warning, they swear a lot. Now, sit back, relax, have a drink, and enjoy Phil fucking Collins. Amen. Mm. Right, what up, nerds? It's been a long week, and Mama's ready to a drink. Do I have enough money to pay my rent? No. Did I buy a handle of terrible vodka? Yes. I am 30. I am depressed. Let's hang out and have a digital happy hour. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Phil <laughs> fucking Collins. He can't be. Phil fucking Collins. He is. He has achieved it. How many in is he? <clears throat> oh, we stopped counting at 12. He should be legally dead by now. How many in are you? Well, six. I, I can get there. I can achieve it too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This isn't real. This is some drunk bullshit that Warren made up years ago because his dad played too much 80s New Age. Why do you not believe me, my child? Because I don't believe that one can get so drunk that they achieve clarity by realizing that Phil Collins is God. Well, have you tried? Essex, you're wasted. Which, by the way, is a good time to tell you that your name is stupid. Uh, no, 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 hey. Phil Collins wouldn't think my name is stupid. Why are you playing along with this? Is there a good reason not to? It's a Wednesday night, and we decided to get shit-faced. What else, what else is fun? Listen, Phil Collins being God could be a fun game. And hold on. And <laughs> that is seven. Ooh. Oh, I can almost hear the drums. What have you both been drinking? Ooh. Well, I'm doing gin because I always thought to myself, could I taste Christmas? And yes, yes, I can. And whatever Warren's drinking, well, I'm pretty sure it's 70% isopropyl alcohol. child. Don't you hear them too? Don't. Listen. Listen for the drums. I know you're going to say it. Don't say it. I can... <sighs> I can feel it. No. I can feel it coming. <laughs> yes! Yes! Need it! Give it to me! Come on! Don't any of that phrasing. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you see, it is inevitable. The more it calls to you, the more you drink. The more you drink, the closer you get. I have been waiting for this moment all my life. No, no, no. <laughs> No, no, Cassidy, after he claims he can hear it coming in the air, he says, oh, Lord, it is essentially a prayer. It is a prayer. As Jesus was both the Lord and the Lord's son, when Jesus spoke to God, he also called him Lord. So, so it is with Phil Collins. So which is, is it? Is Phil Collins God or is he a descendant of Jesus or is he his own religion entirely? Yes. Yes. Phil fucking Collins, man. Oh. The world! <laughs> Gaze into my sacred talisman and hear the words of wisdom that spring forth. 
Is that a refrigerator drawer? What happened to the food inside it, Warren? Tell me what happened to the food. I need to know. Please. From within comes the words one must hear. I honestly, I am 3,000% on board. I don't know how one gets this much clarity from being blackout drunk. So if 80s new gen music is coming out that drawer, I believe. <laughs> What's the drawer say, you drunk ass? This is the place. Raise your heads up. Lift high the road. Take strength from those who need you. Build high the walls. Build strong the beams. A new life is waiting. The danger is no stranger here. Thus says the drawer. Wasted. That's Tarzan. But it's like really poignant, right? Cast before tonight and these um. Eight shots. <coughs> I haven't thought about it, but take the lyrics of the entire Tarzan soundtrack out of context. Son of man, look to the sky. Lift your spirit. Set it free. This is gospel, Cass. It is a children's film. That music won an Oscar. Look, I'm not here to shit on the juggernaut of absolute banging music that is Phil Collins. Phil fucking Collins. Amen. Amen. No one is arguing that. The man is amazing. I am just saying Phil Collins is not a god. That is all I'm saying. My child, what is the name of Phil Collins' first musical project? Genesis. I have spoken. And so has the drawer. Yeah, he had that one I signed on. I figured it was best not to question it. But is it <laughs> Look, I'm not a doctor, but all I know is that if after 12 shots... 14. 14? 14 shots, the man is still breathing, smiling, and talking good music. I am listening. Tell me Phil Collins doesn't get every aspect of what it means to be human when you're heartbroken when you need to release the sadness inside of you. <laughs> Tell me that I wish it would rain down doesn't hit that exact need. I listened to that song after my last breakup. We oh. know. We. The drawer and I. We are one. Okay. Might I point out that I wish it would rain down comes from a man who also so created an album, no jacket required. I mean, it's not on that album, but... Uh, Foresight, <laughs> premonition, a god. Understand these words. Hello, I must be going. <laughs> yeah, man, I get it. I see. Do you not? We are all arriving <laughs> and leaving at once. We don't, we do not live in the moment. Bill Collins knows. He understands. He, he gave an album of music that says, stop! Live in the moment. Yes. Yes, they do. That album has a cover of uh, You Can't Hurry Love. Oh my god, it all makes so much sense! It... Oh my god, it kind of does. <laughs> Dance into the light, my child. Bill Collins is here for you. He, he knows what happens when you go to heaven. And he knows how to get there. Holy shit. He literally has a song called Something Happened on the Way to Heaven. This is because Phil Collins knows. Phil fucking Collins! I can't believe it! He knows! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's just say for one second that I entertain this notion. Phil Collins entertains us all. Amen. Amen. Okay, you've been talking about this for years, Warren. Achieving a state of total Phil Collins and somehow right now you found it of all the times. Is there a better time? Seems awfully convenient. In the words of our Lord and Savior, don't run, don't hide, it will be all right, you'll see. <laughs> 
trust me, I'll be there watching over you. Just take a look through my eyes. There's a better place somewhere out there. That is not a Phil Collins song. No way did he say that specific thing. Yes. Yeah. That, that, that's Brother Bear. Everyone knows Phil Collins did Brother Bear. Literally no one remembers Phil Collins did Brother Bear. You know, I've always known <laughs> that Phil Collins was the way and the light. He has left us clues through the years. Tonight, in this place and time, totality was completed. And I have become one with the Collins. Things are darkest before the light, and so it is this evening. I have transcended. Oh, come on. Come on, Cass, you're not buying this at all. Would you like to know what else he says in Brother Bear? Cassidy? I am afraid. If you look through my eyes, all the things you can change, there is meaning in everything, and you will find all you need. There is so much to understand. Take a look through my eyes. Bullshit! He does not say that. <laughs> Seriously, you don't know the lyrics to Brother Bear? Everyone knows the lyrics to Brother Bear. It's like he's been speaking to us all this time. Yeah, to look through Phil's eye, one must achieve the ultimate state of Collins by drinking Tom Collins, which is the name of Phil's father. Shut up. No, it's not. Okay, no, it's not. But could you imagine if it was? <laughs> I, I would have believed it, man. <laughs> I just... Every song, it makes you feel something. The orchestration... It finds hope. It evokes emotion. The lyrics are so applicable to everything. Oh, they really are. Good. Um, it's crazy. And Warren has seen this for so long. He's been telling us for years. Hear me now. What is the drawer <laughs> saying now? <laughs> oh, wait, fuck. What am I saying? Snap out of it, Cass. That is a, that is a drawer. Attention. Okay, this is going to be great. Su-su-su-studio. Oh. <clears throat> Su-su-studio? Su-su-studio! Su-su-studio! <laughs> I understand! What, what, what do you understand? Tell me! Are you with us? My child, do you believe? jello shots with a bunch of gays and crop tops. Holy shit, that's the dream. It was. How did you know that was one of my favorite memories? Phil Collins knows your joy. He knows about July in Miami, circa 2007. Phil Collins was playing while I surrounded, while I was surrounded by gorgeous, non-threatening men who made me feel amazing in a crop top. That was your joy. Cass? Yeah. Look, it may be that I'm nine shots in. It's a respectable showing. Oh, thank you. But, but look at Warren. Look how happy he is. I am the epitome of happiness because I know that I'm in his heart. Mm. The point is this. Like, life's fucking shit right now. We can only hang out on the internet, drinking garbage booze over a shortly in the inter inter a shoddy internet connection. But Warren is smiling. I'm smiling. I think it's both hilarious and enlightening to find a little more meaning in music my dad used to listen to in the car. It's bringing me joy. And holy shit. I never even knew that Phil Collins had so much to give. I've been telling you for years you should have taken it at face value. Oh, bastard. The point is, it's pure joy. The music, the dissection of lyrics and album names, 
everything to do with Phil Collins, right down to the fact that he did childhood Disney movies. Oh, he was the voice actor in Balto. He was the polar bear. Shut the fuck up. I love those bears. Brother bears. <sighs> Brother bears. <sighs> it's all yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, so maybe Phil Collins is God. Maybe he's just an amazing diminutive singer songwriter who stands five foot six with male pattern baldness and an amazing affinity for lyrics. I don't know. Right now, it's something to throw myself behind that in the end feels really good. It isn't politics. It isn't illness. It's just Bill fucking Collins. Amen. <clears throat> Shit. Shit is hard right now my dude legit and i apologize for coming in so hot i just i guess this is my approach to everything now i'm just be, i'm being forced to look at so much dark stuff face so much reality or whatever in order to survive but may, maybe getting wasted and believing in something fucking goofy for a night is what i need hey may, maybe it's more for than just for a night, right? I mean, yeah. Hell yeah, man! I have found myself faithless for so long, and Phil Collins fucking rock. He makes me feel hopeful. Amen! Amen! He makes me laugh with his amazing album names. Amen! Amen! He makes me cry when I need to cry, and he makes me smile when I need to smile. He makes me feel something with his transcendent words. She is ascending. Whether he is paranormal or not, there is no reason Phil Collins should not be worshipped in this household and all households. Mm, preach! I have achieved it. She has achieved it! Can you... Can you feel it? I can. I can feel it. Coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. This has been amazing. This is exactly what I Cheers, guys. Oh. One question. <laughs> Anything, my child. Seriously, what the fuck with the drawer? Like, I believe Phil Collins can be God. I'm all in, but I don't buy the drawer is talking to you, my guy. Oh, no. He's wasted. That's 100% a drunk thing. Amen.